Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 13. We gotta start things off today by doing some mining, which I know is a bit weird. It's episode 13, we haven't mined in a little while, but it's time, you know, and I don't want to do too much off camera. Right, first things first, we feed the cows. Cows, how you doing? Oh my gosh, you're so hungry. Today, we need to actually material gather down in the mines, which is perfect because we haven't been down here in a second and I love our mines. I like collecting stone this way with my silk touch pick. It means that I can turn this into stone brick really easily and I don't actually have to worry about smelting cobblestone or anything like that. I need quite a lot of materials for my next project, so I'm probably just gonna go until my inventory's full. I found a really big ravine. This is literally right next to where I'm digging. <laughs> it's so cool, but it's so dangerous. And look. I see diamonds, which means I have to enter, right? That's like a rule. Okay, let me deal with you. Ouch. Rude. I've also realized I didn't take a water bucket down here, but that's okay because I made an infinite water source for myself, so all I have to do is quickly make a bucket. And there we go. Oh, three skeletons? Was that necessary, really? So rude. Please die in lava. Thank you. Who's shooting me? Oh my gosh. Dude. It's raining zombies. <laughs> what the heck? <gasps> Ouch. There's so much going on. My brain is just like, can't handle it. No thank you, sir. No thank you. Okay, this is just rude. This is uncalled for. Too much. Gonna grab this water. Thank you. Um, <laughs> why are there so many mobs? Stop. Stop. I haven't had to fight mobs in a minute. I'm getting rusty, okay? I've been building, minding my business in the jungle. Gosh. Go away. Thank you. This is not gonna work, okay? I'm gonna get pushed into this lava. I can feel it. Two sets of diamonds and one ravine? Whoa. <laughs> right. Is this just one? Is this just one? Oh my gosh, that's rude. That's rude. Okay, just one. <laughs> Luckily, there's this other set, which looks like it's four. Perfect. So, I got five diamond ore. Okay, leaving the ravine and going back to my peaceful mining. I found lava, and I found diamonds right next to it. <laughs> hey, that's kind of perfect. Okay, cool. Is this gonna break open into a cave? Oh, it is. Epic, okay. No other diamonds, but we have some over here. Let's see how many. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Ah, oh, that makes 10 total. I'm so happy. Do you guys mind that I'm still mining in episode 13? Like, I know I asked this probably a while back if you guys minded me, like, exploring and still doing stuff on camera, or do you, like, just want to see the big stuff now, but... I don't know, I kind of like when I'm watching a Let's Play and there's little stuff, you know? Like you're actually playing the game with the person. I feel like that's the point of a Let's Play, but you let me know. All right, good morning, fresh new day, ready to start. Creeper outside my door, creeper outside my door. I don't, I don't want anything to do with this. Can I go out the back? Yeah, nothing happened, nothing happened there. Okay, this is how much stone I ended up with. This is actually not a lot. I, I am gonna end up needing more than that, but for the start of this episode, we can get started with this. So there isn't actually much that you need for a potion of weakness. Just an eye, a sugar, and a mushroom. I probably have those things on me. Sugar, surely I can find a mushroom around here somewhere, right? Um, I think I can get some from this. Yeah, a mushroom. And we need a potion of weakness because that is what we need in order to cure villagers. I hope that this is correct, because I, I'm i not very good at potion making, you see? Right, kitty. Have I done it correctly, do you think? Weakness! Hey, perfect! Oh, I need to make it splash. Which, naturally, I don't have any gunpowder on me, so, uh, BRB. Alright, kitty, I hear you. I'm putting the gunpowder in now. I got it. I did it correctly. You don't have to worry. Don't look at me like that. See? I did it! I did it! Yes! Okay. I'm gonna do six of these. I don't know how many we need for today, but I want to be able to heal some zombie villagers. Also, a few of you suggested that I actually dye the collar of my kitty in here to be uh, black, so it looks a little more untamed. I think that's a cute idea, so I'm gonna do it now. All right, kitty, there you go. 
Oh, you're beautiful. You're so beautiful. Right, thank you for your help. Potions are complete. Next up is just the basic golden apples. And I've done a lot of deforesting in my day, so I have a lot of golden apples. <laughs> or, well, regular apples. But I also have a lot of gold. So, uh, let's craft these. I'm gonna do two. We'll start with two. I'll come back and get more if I really need it. I have 22 gold blocks. Jeez. And we have the bastion that we didn't even take any from. All right, now all I have to do is head back into the jungle and get set up. Here we are. So I cleared this area out of trees on a live stream, and now I'm gonna come in and kind of transform this temple a little bit. I don't think that I'll end up getting it completely done today. Definitely don't think I'm that good, but I'd like to get a little head start on this because this is where I want to set up our villagers eventually. I think it would be so fun because our village is right over there, our tree house is right there, to have this like big monument sticking out of the jungle, very ruined and like I don't know, it's gonna be cool though. Uh, let me time lapse this. Okay, today's time lapse segment is brought to you by controversial building opinions. Do you think if I tear down this original jungle temple and build my own over top of it, that it can technically be called a transformation? I think it can because I'm still building a jungle temple. I'm just not really using the original one because I don't really like it. But some people might think that because I didn't use the original and didn't edit it, I just took it down, it's not transforming. Let me know your thoughts, I'm interested. Really happy with how this is coming along. Actually, this is amazing. <laughs> it's one of those projects that's just sort of flowing because ever since episode one, I knew exactly what I wanted to do in this spot. So getting to actually do it has been very fun. I am, however, having a full inventory, so I need to set up a barrel out here for some building supplies, and I'm down on my last stone bricks and stones, so I gotta go back into the mines, do another little bit of mining so that I can get some more blocks up here. One of my goals with the temple is to be able to see it from the village, so we're walking along this path that maybe connects to the jungle, and there it is. Can't see it yet, it's not tall enough, but I want to get it there in this episode, it's so close. Also. I can see just a tiny bit of sandstone right there, which means we are going to be able to see the tree house and the temple right from our docks here, which, amazing. It's all coming together. Right, I'm heading back down to the mines now. Um, I'll let you guys skip this part. You know what, unless I see something interesting, I'll do the boring bit. Okay, so nothing crazy exciting happening, just tunnels, but I did find some diamonds. So I wanted to show you guys me collecting them. Of course, I don't have inventory space, there we go right next to each other, two veins, like what the heck? <laughs> Getting so lucky with diamonds today, that's another 10. 20 diamonds in one day, that's pretty good, right? I'm gonna head back to the surface now and get to work up in the jungle. All right, back at the temple here, I think I'm going to put a wall across this way, kind of straight across connecting to these pillars here. And then this wall will go higher than this. This will be like a little balcony right here. This will be kind of a higher part, and then we'll have a roof on top of that. So, uh, let's see how this works. Okay, so overall, um, it's a little boxy, but it's not bad. We're gonna add areas off to the side on each side as well, and I think I'd like to get some sort of water features. So, this is very plain and very boxy, but I'm kind of getting an idea of what I'm starting to want here. Progress, huh? <laughs> well, it's way better than the vanilla one, but it's... It's got a long way to go. <laughs> not sure, not sure. I'm gonna add some little parts to the side and I'm also gonna clear some of this foliage around here so I can get a nice epic staircase leading right up to it. I wanna have paths connecting everything that we're doing around here and this will make it for a good start. In real time, while I'm recording this, like five minutes ago, my channel hit 300,000 subscribers, which is insane. Like that's, I don't, I, I don't have a word for that. Like, I don't know what the appropriate reaction is to 300,000 subscribers. Like, that's, that's hard to even process. That's insane. Thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to this channel. It's mental and I appreciate your support so much. I made this channel in 2011 when I was pretty much just a kid in high school or middle school or whatever I was in. And it's insane to think about how far I've come. 
I know that back then I couldn't have even thought about the fact that I might one day actually become a YouTuber because that was so far off of my radar. Like I know now sometimes people will dream of being a YouTuber when they grow up, but that wasn't something that I personally ever thought about. So it's insane to me that, that, this, is, that this is where I am. I wish I could go back in time and show that girl who made this channel and this brand what it became and how it evolved. And more than anything, I wish I could show her how many people like what she's doing. Like, I think that's, for me, the craziest part. I've always been passionate about so many things in life, about art and music and, and gaming and just it, pretty much everything, I'm a pretty passionate person, and that can be annoying to deal with sometimes, I think, for people in my real life. So for me to have this community that is built and focused around things that I love, and that you guys don't mind me talking about the things that I love, and we can share this and it can be beautiful, is just the most incredible thing ever. So thank you so much for listening to me and for giving me that space and for watching my videos and supporting my channel. I just, it's incredible and I appreciate you. I just hope that if you are a person right now who is thinking of starting something that you're passionate about, that you do it just regardless of anything that anybody says or anything that you think that you can't do it, do it anyway. Uh, it might not work. It might not work for like nine years or maybe nine years down the road, suddenly one day you'll wake up and you'll realize you're doing it. And, uh, I hope that I can share that feeling with you someday. Because I hope that you'll follow your dreams, whatever they are. I'm gonna have to make a lot of custom trees because I, the jungle is so many leaves. I'm overflowing on leaves. I'm gonna have to make a storage room just for leaves. Ready? Bam. Pathway. Okay, but it's looking better, right? It's better. We're gonna have a path. This is the dark oak forest. Our village is literally right there. We have a big path, so. I want, I imagine it being very overgrown, very ruined. We have some other like stone structures around, maybe a statue kind of weathered away. We have all of this mossy stuff and we have greenery kind of vines making their way all over these ruins. And when we enter inside, it's this magical place of trading. And I don't know if that makes any sense, but it makes sense to me. So I'm going to keep going <laughs> if you don't mind. I do think it might be time to think about a flooring soon, which means more of this temple is gonna have to come out. You know, it's kind of annoying removing the old one. I probably should have done a smaller transformation, but here we are. Update, it's doing great. I'm so happy with how it's coming together. I'm adding in just a couple of little touches of detail around the place, and obviously I am gonna add a lot of mossy stuff, cracked stone brick, kind of break it down a little bit, but this building up process is really, really enjoyable. So the inside has a floor now. The next stage for me is going to be getting this kind of front looking really good. So I'm gonna get two sides and I want them to look exactly like the roof. Can't see the roof, hang on. <laughs> My favorite thing about this build, I think, is that we can literally run back almost to the village and that's the place where this temple looks the best. I think that's just magical. So there it is. We need to chop down this tree to get a better view, but that's okay. That's kind of the domed roof that I'm going for, and I'm gonna do that on the sides as well, just to sort of balance it out a little bit. I think it's looking good though. Just gotta get to work on those sides and then I'll be pretty happy with it, to be honest. Oh, baby kitty crossing the street. Okay. <laughs> so cute! Oh my gosh, I love the jungle, it's so full of life. So for the sides, pretty much same as before, just, just piling it up. Oh, I should count. I should really count. My bad. Um, I'm gonna do five. Yeah, I, I think five is a good fit. I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna mark in the outline of the roof and see. This is a pretty big and kind of complicated build to be doing. I feel like this is still pretty early game to be doing this, but I'm actually having a lot of fun. I think it's coming together wonderfully. Not having feather falling is really hurting me though. My poor boots. Once the general curve is in, then all I have to do is mark it in with granite. I would love to break this sort of texturing up with some bricks and some plain terracotta, but I don't really have the resources for that yet. That's why we're getting the villagers. We'll be able to get bricks super easy and I need to find a mesa. That's gonna be challenging. Maybe we'll wait for the elytra for that. 
I don't know about you guys, but I need a break from building. So I think I'm gonna actually, the sun is setting. I'm gonna stay awake for this next night and see if I can't catch myself a zombie villager, the first one. I'm gonna make a little tunnel <laughs> right here, right? So there's a little like, you know, we'll drag, we'll drag the zombie through here, hopefully, through a little doorway and hopefully with any luck i'll escape out the other side quickly close it off uh that's the plan let's see if it works uh, maybe i'll build another one just in case we get more multiples okay i'm ready i got my golden apple got my blocks got everything that i should need to convert um hopefully something spawns right i have everything that i could potentially need let's see if this works out Standing on some leaves in hopes of getting a bird's eye view, but also because in order for stuff to spawn over here, I can't be too close to it. Look at our village, though. Oh, man, when we get some lights in this temple, it's gonna look so good in the jungle. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love it. This has been such a lovely episode. I literally, there's hardly anything spawning. What? Let me walk around a bit more. I think the jungle just has so many leaves, it's- Oh! 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 It's not ideal for spawning, except it is, um... Just... Stop it, I just built the staircase, okay? I need you to not blow up on it. Thank you. Wow. Okay, gonna put some lights just- Just around my- my front of my temple. <laughs> Jeez! Okay, another regular zombie, and a creeper. Oh! And another one. Okay, got the whole squad, huh? No, 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 sir. It is oddly peaceful. This feels wrong. Oh God, there's a baby. There's a child. I don't, I don't like the child. I, that's, I don't like your kind. I just, I don't want you. I don't want you. Oh my gosh, they stress me out. I don't like them. <laughs> They're like the worst ones. I could take the creepers and the skeletons. And spiders. Babies? No. No sorry. No babies. Guys, can you please invite a zombie villager friend? Please. I'm begging you. Please. How is this possible? How are none of you villagers? Well, that was really unproductive. Let's try again the next night. Whoop. And let's get rid of your kind, please. Alright, off topic, but you know what? We actually haven't used our diamond ore yet with our fortune 3. I actually have the other 10 at the jungle temple, so let's go over there and actually see how many diamonds we got. I love this view. I know that I've mentioned it like a thousand times in this episode at this point, but my goodness, I mean just, would you look at it? <laughs> It's gonna be so epic as our first like large-scale build in this world. I, I do think that was a good choice I do like it. It's maybe not the most original. I know people have done jungle temples before but It's fun. It's fun to build in the jungle and I'm really liking it. Okay other 10 diamond door I'm gonna do this uh, flex thing where you go up in the air as high as you can and then you, you come back down um, There we go Hey, I can see all my stuff from here Right, fortune three, all the way back down. How many diamonds are we gonna get? Okay, so we went from 20 diamonds to almost doubling 39 diamonds. That's amazing, I love that for us. <laughs> Feeling quite good about that. If you don't have a pickaxe in your world with fortune three on it, seriously enchant until you can get it because it's so worth it for that reason. So that means we now have over a stack of diamonds total and we've got pretty much full gear. We've gotta get some netherite though. All right, the sun is setting and I am super ready and stocked up to get a zombie villager. I want one, I need one, I'm determined it's gonna happen. 5% chance, I got this. Okay, night has fallen, the pig is spooked. Pig, okay, goodbye, <laughs> I'm on my own. Oh, first zombie. I have killed so many of your kind, please spawn a zombie villager. Oh, baby, baby, no, thank you, no, no, no hate those guys. Nice pants, dude. Can I have them? Oh, you give me your boots. That's kind. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, go away. Hey, level 30. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I get to enchant something today. Not a single zombie villager in sight. 
How is that even possible? Okay, there's a lot going on. There is a lot going on, and... What? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Jeez. You have a sword, dude? You're so cool. Go away. You dropped your sword. What? What? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is going on? I do have enough levels to enchant something, so I'm gonna make a couple more diamond things and just kind of see what we get. I'm not super happy with my sword. I would love looting on it. What else do I kind of need? I, mean, I need boots for sure. I'm happy with my shovel and my axe and my pickaxe. Maybe just some boots and then some books and we'll see what we get. I think I'm gonna go for this enchant. If I don't like it, I'll just put it in the grindstone. Ah, uh, okay. Um, not the worst. I mean, they could be really good nether boots. Okay, speaking of the nether, so many of you are very concerned <laughs> as I keep jumping over that as if it's nothing. Um, we're actually not gonna do a bridge. We're gonna do glass and hopefully get a nice effect going here. I was gonna fill this in completely so that all the lava is even, but I'm kind of lazy and I don't know if you'll be able to notice anyways, so I think I'm just I think I'm just gonna do it with glass. But like Okay, this this will still look like lava, right? And it'll still glow, so I think I'm gonna do it. So, that's still looking about the same, right? But then I am gonna do another layer right here with an air block in between. So you can walk right over this. Um, and it's not actually lava, but it kinda, it kinda gives that feel, you know, of this warmth coming from down there. While I'm on the theme of doing stuff you guys suggest, one of you actually mentioned that I should set up some of these to make it look like they're being collected in barrels and stuff, these nether warp blocks. And since they're so easy to get now, I thought that was such a cute idea to add around here. Of course, I have a lot of work to do making this area more mystical, but such a great idea, adding little piles of this nether wart like it's being collected for potion brewing. You guys are genius. Thank you for the ideas. It's nighttime though, so that means zombie hunting. Let's go. And now it's raining. Could zombie hunting really get any worse? Really? Oops. My bad. <laughs> oh dear. Oh gosh. There's lightning. <laughs> Please don't burn down. Oh gosh. What if it strikes my house? I have an entirely wooden village. I should definitely be sleeping. Oh, this is not good. Um, I need to check where that lightning struck. Okay, the village doesn't look like it's up in flames. Which I really hope it's not. I re- I- Oh my gosh, it struck my tree! <gasps> no! No way! This is not actually happening to me. This cannot actually be what's happening to me. No, 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 no. No, no, sir. No, oh, Enderman. <laughs> Enderman's having a worse day than me. You know what? I will give it that. The Endermen in the world are having a bad day. Oh my gosh, I have to sleep. What the heck? What? Ah! <laughs> ah, we are going to bed right this instant. We're not dealing. Nope. Not. Nope. Jeez. Yeah, I'm sleeping with arrows in my arm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nothing's on fire, right? That tree was definitely on fire. And that's a custom tree, so I'd really like if it wasn't. Um. Oh. <gasps> Entirely wooden village in a lightning storm. Not, not good, not good. Okay, I think, I think I'm done. Like, I think that's all my sanity can take for for this for this moment. I need advice though. I need, I really need advice down in the comments. How are you guys healing your zombie villagers? Because I really do want to heal them so that I can get the discount on the trades. But like, am I gonna have to infect some real villagers and trek them over here in a boat? Cause that sounds not that fun, but I can do it. I can do it if I need to. I just, they do spawn and I don't know why they're not spawning. <laughs> I'm really sad about it. So I need some help. Um, thank you commenters. And uh, thank you everyone for watching. I think, I think that's, I think that's good. I think I'm done. 
<laughs> I gotta get off Minecraft for the day because my village almost just burned down and I don't think I can mentally handle that. Yeah, thank you for watching everyone. This has been an amazing episode. I hope that you don't mind that it was a little bit more building focused this week. Next week, we are gonna take on the dragon, do lots of exploring and prepping for that. So if you didn't like the building this week, you'll get lots of exploring next week. Don't even worry. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, everyone. And I hope that I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.